Hi everyone, it's Jessica again with Planet Southern and I got a request a little bit ago to upload a video doing a quick walkthrough of my traveler's notebooks and it was for one of my friends. She's wanting to get into traveler's notebooks but um, I figured I could do just a quick video and try to get through it in one take try to get through it very quick so I could just go ahead and upload it to YouTube um, because I I want you guys to go ahead and see this so um these are my travelers notebooks I have sorry about that camera guys uh, I'm not used to this uh, paper hold on one second while I talk I'm gonna tape it down okay um because you guys know my my desk is so shiny it was like that in the last video so I got some pretty background paper okay anyway this is an A6 um, Chic Sparrow Creme Brulee in dark chocolate this is an A5 Deluxe Chic Sparrow also in Creme Brulee um, guys I can't say enough about this leather this one you can tell they are both well loved so far and um, they both have uh, some scratches but this leather just it well it wears so well um, that the scratches just they make it feel more loved so let's do little first um, right now currently this is all going to change but I wanted to give you a run through of what it looks like now so you'll know what it looks like when I change it um, again this is the a6 this is how it looks opened um, currently my EDC is my pink pen ink joy this is a ink joy gel 0.7 this is a Twisby um, Eco Pen. This is their cheapest pen because it is a plastic. Uh, that's why I don't mind if it's my everyday carry pen because um, if it breaks, you know, it's my cheapest pen. I have several pens. Maybe I'll do a video on those. Uh, but right now, this has got Noodler's Black with an extra fine nib. So that is my everyday carry pen. Put those over there. Um, so right out of the gate, my very first, um, this is, I was trying, I made this book with some recollection 64 pound cardstock paper. And I was trying to do um, an April's to-do list. So like things that I wanted to do throughout the month. Um, online orders coming in this is actually uh, April is when I ordered my um, this notebook right here um, and then I have certain things that I do every week and I was going to try and do um, a day on a page and then a weekend because it's not that busy um too and then I have the the uh, one of the ladies at the meetup today Angela called these I think Dutch windows I don't know I saw it on a YouTube video and it worked for me um, a grocery shopping list I go to the grocery store twice a week now my menu plan and I just guys took some um, scrapbook paper and washi so again this is just you know grocery list on one side and my grocery list so I can you know keep up with what's going on during a day um this is from a sweet stamp shop set these cute little ones and uh, this hydrate right here is from a miss kim set as well as these um i was trying an everyday habits tracker um my problem with having it in this is i was keeping this in my purse and i wasn't pulling it out so that's why I'm wanting to change this. Um, this is a field note size insert that I purchased from Yellow Paper House. It's undated. You get this is how um, an in, how a blank insert looks, other than for 
pre -plan for future planning, I went ahead and numbered them just so I would have an idea. This is what June looks like. Um, I have a few of the meetups, a birthday party. These dots um, I printed out or cut out with a silhouette and then colored them with uh, a Copix to match the scrapbook paper. And um, I took a white out correct correction tape and just white out everything here so that it wouldn't show through my washi. So all this month up here and all these to do's. This I'm not going to show you because it is personal info. I do have um, let's see, two, three, four, five or six checking accounts that I keep track of and I have them split into this. Um, but all I did was take a dot grid paper, a P printable PDF that I purchased off of Etsy and printed it on that 24 pound paper, which is what I have done in all of these notebooks. And then just uh, took a Statler pen and marked out and then I do use um, erasable friction pens to, um, but see, I mean, that's how it looks. Just so you get an idea. This is one that I did on a grid paper. Same concept. Again, I, I don't want to show you too much, but that is that and then this cute little insert I got from I believe you you pronounce it planner V it's planner V I E um, dot com is or if you google planner V I E it will show up in Google um, I was talking to a couple of ladies at our bi-weekly uh, mall meetup about this today um, it's got a place for a checkbook because I do want to use this as a wallet. Um, it has a pin loop and it has some card slots and it has a zipper pocket. It doesn't go all the way but it stops about right here. And I have that surrounding just a plain um, lined notebook again this was a printable PDF that I purchased off of the same shop on Etsy and um, I was able to um, print this and then just cut it and just make a lined notebook just for doodling and um, I used scrapbook paper for the outside and then this is a pen loop that I purchased off of Erin Condren for my life planners but my husband is in construction and has double sided tape and um, I for insulation and I put that on and that is not going anywhere but this is uh, how it is um, so I have one two three four five six books and a wallet okay guys one tag short and sweet it ain't gonna happen because my phone kept ringing so if you've seen this kind of look like it is split into two videos that's exactly what happened okay so start from the top with this one this is sorry I forgot to mute my computer this is my um, A5 Chic Sparrow. Uh, it has pockets because it is the deluxe. It has the secretarial po deep pocket and these little card slots. This is just a dashboard that I made that covers um, a few books. I really think um, it covers too many. I need to... That's why I'm going to revamp this because it this is uh, not wide enough for these pocket these books. But this is my Like a Boss book. And uh, this is how it looks. This is what I use for right now for my businesses. Uh, this is what it looks like when you order it uh, from Yellow Paper House. And then this is how I've been using it. Um, but it's, like I said, it's not working for me right now. 
so I have um, what days I'm working what business uh, which has completely changed again because my um, Etsy shop is growing so I need to revamp um, I'm also going to school for medical billing and coding so I need to get that done so I can get a, um, a part-time job doing that um, to bring in some extra money really to support my planner habit but I digress um, down here at the bottom is my daily to do's I started doing it in here instead of in my little planner and again because I had my Erin Condren this did not really work I just felt like I was doing it multiple writing in multiple spots um, these uh, this is just a book of all of my washi that I have listed in the shop um, so I know while I'm out this is just a blank book that is going to house all my washi so if I happen to have this and I'm out of town and I stop at a Michaels or AC Moore I don't rebuy the same washi this was a shoot them down task journal my idea of a bullet journal I really I don't this was really just more of a um, brain dump type journal. It, I just really made, instead of making a brain dump, I just wrote out ideas that I had that come through my mind and then I moved them over into my other planner. And then I also have um, a sheet with my cut settings, um, fountain pens that I want to try or buy, um, inks that I want to try, inks that I would like to buy, which I need to mark some of these off, um, my running recipes list, uh, just so that I have that written down somewhere. And then these are the new books that I'm dying to figure out how to plan with them that's why I said this planner is getting an overhaul um, this is a weekly agenda from May books and um, this is how it looks it is um, sewn bound uh, which I love it has let me see if I can get you to focus in here it has a dot, or I'm sorry, a grid paper at the bottom. And then it has the um, five days of the week and then the weekend split, which works for me because I can do tasks down here at the bottom. Um, and then I can do, um, you know, meetings and appointments and stuff at the top. And the weekends um, is family time. So I'm, we're very very uh strict not strict but we we want to spend the weekends together my husband and I so I normally spend at home just spending time together or going out anywho this is just a beautiful blue lined notebook which is also a May Designs May book uh, this one says, uh, Blessed are the curious, for they shall have adventures. And this is a beautiful, you can't really tell on camera, but it is a beautiful um, dot grid paper that I love. And this is the uh, May Books um, budget journal. A penny saved is a penny earned. And I really would like to use this. It, it I, I just haven't because it's in this traveler's notebook and I don't see it. That's why I want to start um, putting this in my everyday planning because I want to be able to see it and I want to be able to use it. This is what the second page looks like. It's a, a four page spread. And then this is my brain dump journal which is just whatever I can write down um, different icon lists, um, kids church training, um, just anything. Anything I can think of to write down 
that is it. I feel like, what is this? Oh, that's when I was experimenting with fountain pen inks. So yeah, uh, this also has a secretarial pocket, which I love, and there's also one back here um, on the back as well, and a pen loop. I love this traveler's notebook. I really wanna get you some use out of it. So um, I have ordered a Carpe Diem planner and I am going to be splitting into two different plan, well, three. This uh, B6, or A6, I'm sorry, is gonna be my wallet and on the go planner. Um, and then this is going to be my main planner and the Carpe Diem is gonna be my home binder and home planner um, for my home life. Or it's gonna be my business planner and this is gonna be my home planner I haven't decided yet. Anyway, um, I hope that you liked this little mini flip through video. I can do um, a more in-depth if you want to see a more in-depth video. And I am also going to be doing a video um, of my new setup once I get that done. So that should be, I would say, with about the first week of July because I want to have time to get it done. Um, and get everything set up and get it working functionally so that I can show you. All right, well, I hope that you guys have a great day today and I look forward to um, seeing you all soon. Bye-bye.